The United States Army is, of course, known for going out on the front lines during high-risk missions and is on the ground during war. But now some are fighting what the president dubs the invisible army. Rachel Scott and our team were given exclusive access inside an army lab closely studying the coronavirus as they try to find a way to win this war. At Fort Detrick in Maryland, army scientists are armed with face masks, rubber gloves, and test tubes. They are on the front lines in the fight against the coronavirus. What we want to do is be able to prevent the disease, and the way to do that is through a vaccination. Some of the people here are going to be the heroes that are going to help us defeat it. Our cameras rolling exclusively inside one of the military's most important research and medical facilities, U.S. AMRID. Researchers here growing a live sample of the coronavirus for testing, studying its characteristics and behavior to try and find what will prevent it. Behind these glass windows, lab techs are beginning a two to three week long process of multiplying and purifying the virus to understand how it spreads. As the pandemic sweeps across the world, a shortfall in treatment has sparked a global race to find a vaccine. Army Secretary Ryan McCarthy telling me they are under pressure and up against time. We don't have a lot of time because we're in this fight. People are dying. These people are working every day. I mean, they're working every day. Helping to lead that charge, Army Dr. Sure, John Dye. So this is actually a training lab that we use here at USAMRD to train individuals on how to work in containment. While scientists are working around the clock, a vaccine could still be 12 to 18 months away. People think 12 to 18 months to get a vaccine. That's a long road. So it is a long road. Not only do you have to develop the vaccine, like in the laboratory, the science part of the vaccine, but then you have to take that vaccine and you have to put it into human clinical trials to show that that vaccine is safe. And as millions practice social distancing, every day these doctors come into closer contact with the deadly virus than virtually anyone else. They showed me how they protect themselves before they step into the lab. Scrubs, a set of rubber gloves take down, a respirator, a full face shield, gown and then another pair of gloves. This is all set. This is a protective gear. Yes, ma'am. For the lab technicians that are on the forefront of this site. Yes, that is that is exactly what they would wear um, at USAMRED when they're working with uh, coronaviruses. At the Army's core is a call to deploy, fight and win, no matter what the mission is. For ABC News Live, I'm Rachel Scott at Fort Detrick, Maryland. Our thanks to Rachel Scott for that report. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.